Want to bet that there's a place in this universe that's so terrible you'd rather not know it? This place is scary. It's gigantic, empty, lonely, and a mystery to science. Let's go on a fictional journey through the structures of the universe together. We start on Earth, our familiar home planet. Our spaceship lifts off and leaves the solar system, passing familiar planets such as Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. At the end of the Heliosphere, we enter the interstellar medium, leaving the solar system far behind us. Our journey takes us further into the impressive expanse of our galaxy, the Milky Way. Hey, we discover stars in unimaginable numbers, some of which have illustrious names such as Alpha Centauri or Ceres. We cross star-studded nebulae, encounter mysterious black holes, and witness the birth of stars. Far beyond our galaxy, we recognize further clusters of stars. We see the Andromeda Galaxy, the small and large Magellanic Clouds, and other galaxies further and further away. We would recognize a gigantic cluster of galaxies known as the Virgo Galaxy Cluster. Hey, hundreds of galaxies are connected by gravity. We observe how galaxies influence each other, attract, repel, and sometimes merge in a fascinating cosmic dance. The Virgo Galaxy Cluster is home to over 1,300 galaxies and is an impressive example of the size and diversity of structures in the universe. Our journey continues to a supercluster of galaxies, the Virgo Cluster, of which our Milky Way is itself only a small part of the Shapley Supercluster. This enormous network of galaxy clusters is connected by invisible threads of dark matter. There are hundreds of galaxy clusters in the Shapley Supercluster, and it consists of several million galaxies. We recognize structures, the filaments by which galaxies and galaxy clusters orient themselves. Then, we fly further and further and recognize a mysterious area of the universe, a nothingness of such enormous dimensions that it takes our breath away. It is as if we are looking into the moor of the universe, where a moment ago light and the dance of colorful galaxies delighted our eyes, a menacing blackness now looms. Astronomers refer to this mysterious structure as the Dipole Repeller. This empty space in space mysteriously influences the movement of galaxies and very probably contributes to the accelerated expansion of the universe. The exact nature and function of this region have not yet been sufficiently researched. However, researchers suspect that the Dipole Repeller acts like an invisible cosmic guide and makes a decisive contribution to the stability of the universe, the most mysterious structure in the universe. The idea of the Dipole Repeller was born in 2017 when a group of astronomers led by Yehuda Hoffman proposed that this structure could be one of the main activators of the universe. Based on data from the Two-Mass Redshift Survey and the Cosmic Flows 3 catalog, cosmologists have spent years exploring the foundations of the structure of our known universe. These two studies have spent years analyzing the distribution and motions of galaxies in the so-called cosmic stream path pattern. The two-mass redshift survey has recorded the spectral light shift of millions of galaxies. With the help of the light shift, astronomers can determine the distance and speed of galaxies in space. Galaxies that are moving away from us increasingly shift into the red color spectrum, while galaxies moving towards us become bluish. The Cosmic Flows 3 catalog deals with the exploration and distribution of galaxies in our cosmic neighborhood. Data from this catalog precisely describe the movement of galaxies. This has resulted in patterns of our universe that show flows and interactions between massive structures such as the Great Attractor and the Dipole Repeller. The Great Attractor lies in the direction of the center of the so-called Hydrocentaurus supercluster. The Great Attractor is presumably a huge and massive region in the universe that also influences the movement of galaxies in its vicinity. While the gravity of the Attractor attracts galaxies, the Dipole Repeller repels them. You could also say that the Attractor and Repeller act like a cosmic vortex. The interaction of the two leads to complex patterns of movements of galaxies in the universe as we know it. We now know that everything in the universe consists of flow and constant movement. 
The exact role of the attractor and repeller are still a mystery to researchers. And above all, questions remain as to whether these two are the largest structures or whether there are even larger units. If you look at these maps of the structure of the universe, you will find another incredible fact. The structures resemble an organic entity. The shapes are reminiscent of a brain or even the little bones and the snail in the A. Images like these raise questions such as whether our universe is perhaps something like a gigantic living being. After all, are we possibly just something in the cosmos like the mitochondria in the cells of our bodies? It will probably be centuries or millennia before we have found all the answers to these questions. So far, attractors and resellers are pure concepts of cosmology. Nobody has seen these structures yet, but it's very likely that they are there. And scientists paint a picture of the Dipole Repeller that is so terrifying that you would never want to go there, even if you had a spaceship with a warp drive. Gloomy, lonely, and mysterious, the Dipole Repeller is a truly terrifying and dark region of the universe. In this mysterious zone, galaxies seem to be repelled by an invisible and terrible force. But what is this force? What has the enormous ability to push entire galaxies' superclusters away from itself? And why? Everything in the universe seems to have a mysterious purpose. And the idea of an eerie and almost empty realm in the universe that is constantly pushing galaxies into the infinite expanse presents us with unsolvable puzzles. Anyone who observes the death of the galaxies recognizes that almost everything in the universe is searching for community. But the Dipole Repeller is a mysterious exception. What other purpose does this eerie eclipse serve? What is inside it? And is there a more detailed reason why this region is pushing galaxies away from itself? Similar to the no less mysterious voids, something seems to be going on in this space that is beyond our understanding. Our understanding and our physical quantities are reaching an impenetrable limit. Enormous voids without another dimension. The Dipole Repeller is still a purely cosmological concept, but the voids have long been a proven and observed fact. Voids are also gigantic regions in the universe in which the distribution of galaxies and matter is vanishingly small compared to their average density. However, researchers suspect that voids only appear to be empty. There are only a few galaxies in them. And these are so lonely that researchers who live in them probably thought for a long time that they were the only galaxy in a vast void. The distances between the matter and the great voids are unimaginable. Measurements have shown that these regions have a low density, and the large voids are probably direct consequences of the Big Bang. Voids were first discovered in the 1970s by astronomers observing the distribution of galaxies in the universe. They noticed regions in which galaxies were completely absent, only very thinly distributed. The best known of these is the Boötes Void, named after the constellation of the same name, Boötes. Researchers now know of many other voids, the largest of which are supervoids that extend over hundreds of millions of light years. Voids could be a key to understanding and decoding dark energy, and are currently being studied intensively. Previous research has revealed such strange things about the voids that researchers have come up with the craziest ideas. Voids could therefore also be something like scar tissue in the cosmic web. Researchers have calculated that parallel universes may have collided at these points. This would mean that we live in a multiverse after all, or that voids are gateways to other dimensions. There are even more intriguing theories suggesting that voids may not be empty at all. Some scientists speculate that advanced civilizations may be at work in these black spots in the sky, capable of eclipsing entire galaxies in order to harness their energy for their own purposes. The ideas and concepts behind this hypothesis go back to the Russian researcher Nikolai Kardashev, who suggested in the 1960s that superintelligence evolving over the centuries might one day be able to build massive power plants around galaxies, making them disappear to our eyes. Of course, these theories are pure speculation, but they show very well how these huge structures are pushing our science to its limits. Astronomers and cosmologists are urgently searching for answers using every available source. What role do dark matter and dark energy play? It sounds incredible, 
And yet it's true. The entire cosmological models we have shared with you are based on the assumption of two forces that no one has really seen or measured. Although dark matter and dark energy are invisible to direct perception, their existence has been confirmed by multiple observations. Dark matter exerts a gravitational force that influences the visible matter in galaxies and galaxy clusters. In fact, dark matter is thought to make up the majority of matter in the universe and forms the basic structure for the formation of galaxies and cosmic filaments. The gravitational attraction of dark matter pulls galaxies and galaxy clusters together and allows the formation of the giant structures we have presented to you. Dark energy is another mysterious phenomenon that acts as a kind of counterforce in the cosmos. Among other things, it causes the accelerated expansion of the universe and causes galaxies to move away from each other on large cosmic scales. We encounter this accelerated expansion and dark energy in the Dipole repellers and also in the voids. These currents in the cosmos are influenced by both the attraction of dark matter and the repulsion of dark energy. The idea that dark energy accelerates the expansion of the universe and thus moves galaxies away from it in certain regions is even a basic assumption to explain the Dipole repeller. The voids, the huge empty regions in the universe, are also the result of the complex interaction between dark matter and dark energy. The gravitational attraction of dark matter leads to the formation of the large voids, while the expansive forces of dark energy help voids to expand and become increasingly empty. Despite their invisibility, these mysterious forces are of crucial importance for the development and fate of the universe. Whoever one day succeeds in deciphering dark matter and dark energy will also succeed in piecing together the cosmic puzzle. And perhaps one day, we will be able to explain where all the splendor and beauty of the universe comes from and what forces are behind this fantastic creation. Press the subscribe button because there are many more highlights to come.